Hello everyone. Hey, I'm down at my 12 unit today, getting ready to work on an apartment turn. These are small one bedroom units. They're, I think they're about 400 square feet. But what I wanted to talk to you about today is the various paints you'll need for your rental properties. Now, almost all these that I have here are Valspar. I'm not endorsing Valspar whatsoever. It's an okay paint, but Sherwin-Williams has Bear, which is a good paint. Um, there's various brands, but I just really want to talk to you about the type of paint I select and why. So here we have a Valspar. This is for the interior walls, a 2000 and Ultra. These are paint primer and ones. They're a little bit better quality than, than a contractor grade. The reason I'm using those is because I'm changing the color, the standard color that I use in all my units out. Um, so these do a little better covering for cutting in and things like that. You still probably have to roll. In most cases, you have to roll two coats, but at least at cut in, you can get by with one with these little bit better quality paints. So the sheen I use is, is satin. Um, so your sheens go flat, uh, eggshell, satin, semi-gloss, and gloss. The more you move up that scale towards gloss, uh, the harder the paint is to work with. For one, it dries very quick. Uh, it shows overlap marks. It shows imperfections in your walls, so your patches and things will tell a script through more. But it should be more durable as you go up that, that sheen level towards the gloss. In my area, typically in a house, you would paint most walls flat. And then in the bathroom where it's wet, you'd use a semi-gloss paint. But for rentals, we don't want to carry around two different um, sheens of paint. So I just stick right in the middle with a satin interior. It works well. Imperfections doesn't show too bad. Some, in, some show through, but it's not too bad. Uh, and, it, and it's good enough sheen for, for bathrooms to hold up in there. Durability is not that big a factor when you're looking at rental paint because you're going to paint these, you know, every three or four years when I, when you have a turnover anyhow. So I wouldn't get too hung up on, you know, what paint's more durable. Just try to get one that'll cover for the most part in one coat. And then once you get it as a standard color, then you can go to a contractor gray paint and save some money. So this 2000, for example, is about a hundred bucks for a five gallon. And the ultra is about 135, I believe for a five gallon. Definitely always buying five gallons. You get it, get it much cheaper. Uh, the color I use is agreeable gray, and I have to thank uh, James Wise at Holton Wise for pointing that, giving me that tip. Uh, if you Google Sherwin Williams number one selling paint color, it is agreeable gray. So it's kind of a um, a gray beige, real neutral, um, and obviously it's very pop popular since it's their number one selling color. And the tenants really love it. They appreciate it. Most landlords in my area paint like an antique white, which is what I think this is. And so tenants appreciate it when they come in and see that, you know, they've taken the time and it's a modern collar and all that. So it's really helped my turnover. Uh, people, you know, take my unit quickly because they, they like this modern looking. So for ceiling paint, I don't, you know, once again, Valspar is not... I'm not endorsing a brand, but just get a ceiling paint. If you want to get really cheap, you can use just a primer on it. Uh, but always use flat on ceilings. Uh, I definitely always use a flat. One thing you may want to do is kind of get a collection of various ceiling paints. And the reason I, I probably have five different ones that I keep on hand. That way, if you go to an apartment that's been painted and someone got paint on the ceiling, you can use your various ones because ceiling white is not ceiling white. All the different brands are a little bit different, but you can use the various ones and find ones that match. So you don't have to paint the entire ceiling. You can just touch up that little area. So I've saved tons of time doing, by having uh, four or five different ceiling paints to choose from to match up. Now for the trim and doors, I do use a semi-gloss for that. This is uh, the perfect white, so it's a pre-mixed um, paint made for uh, trimming doors. Nice thing is it's already mixed. You can just go in to Lowe's or your home center and just grab, grab it off the shelf and don't have to wait for it. Occasionally you'll need a primer. I use this brand. Um, 
you know that the other brands are all right. I use this one, uh, or Kills was the one I was going to say. It's it's a good one too. I use this brand because I think it does a better job of covering up odors. So if you've got a subfloor that has uh, pet urine or whatever, and there's an odor, I think this primer does a little bit better job of covering up those odors. Uh, this one's thin, a lot thinner than Kills, but it but it does well as a general primer as well. So that's that's what I typically use is this one. Then for exterior paints, um, the key thing to remember on exterior, uh, so this paint is for the doors here at the 12 unit, but the key thing when you're choosing an exterior paint to remember is that even a flat has a sheen to it. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't be waterproof for the exterior. So if you go up to like a semi-gloss or gloss, it is very difficult to work with. So I would recommend do not go anything past a satin and that's still going to have a lot of gloss to it, even at a satin sheen. All right, so that's about all on the paints that I use. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks.